just by opening and closing we got some spark in there Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And today we go pick up a 1975 Moto Guzzi 850T that's been sitting for years. Let's get going. Okay guys, here we are with our 1975 Moto Guzzi 850T. Mostly there. I got some more I got some parts in the back of the truck, but you can see it right here. It definitely has some wiring business going on that we're going to have to work on. But to be 100% honest, I don't know anything about these motorcycles. Don't know anything about them other than that they're from Italy. I'm going to do some research. This one does have some crazy fishtail exhaust. Again, but this thing met all of the criteria that I have, right? It was cheap. And by cheap, I mean it cost $400. And with $400, it came with a brand new set of tires. Still have the stickers on them. So brand new on that, which that's easily taking the bike from 400 to 300, 250. So it's not too bad. And then it came with a bunch of parts. Uh, the good thing is that the engine is not seized. So we should be able to get it going. Uh, it has a seat. It does not have the I don't believe this to be the stock seat because there's no stock There's no way to fit this thing on. It's got no mounting. It's got no mounting tabs or anything like that So it's there. We probably won't use it, but Story goes is that the people that had it before this was the wife's bike and there was a divorce and then so things got cut up parts got taken off of it and and that's it now it does have a broken perch here but the good thing is i picked this up last week i just took it out of the truck today but i went through and the week i ordered some parts so if you see right here i've got a new i've got a new perch it's missing the alternate generator cover i've got that it's missing the you can see it in there the uh, points cover distributor cover I've got it and I bought a another switch just because that one's kind of got some monkey business main thing that we're gonna have to do is to go through and figure out the wiring on this and for that oh in addition to it came with a Haynes service manual. It came with a Motoguzi workshop manual, printed, which is good. And then, uh, more importantly, it came with a parts manual that is in Italian. So, a lot of Google Translate on this, just to be able to get it going. So, I needed to figure out the wiring diagram. At my age, it's a little difficult to read and let's be honest at any age it's difficult to read this right it's just bananas but what is easy to read and what i recommend that everybody do is have these made because that's easy to read and guys look the total right there $15.99.
and done in an hour. I can say I can read every one of these. I can trace it with my finger. I don't have to do anything else. It's there. It's easy. So totally up to you. You could do that or you can be a purist and do this. Totally up to you. I'm doing this one. I'm doing this one. It makes it easier. I can read that without my glasses. So let's, let's get started on this thing. Kind of see what's there, see what's not there. I think I'd like, to, what I'd really like to do would be to put the, these covers on. I'd really like to put these covers on and then pressure wash it so I can see what's there, get all the, the crap off of it, and then let's go from there, which I think is where I'm gonna start because that's where I like to start. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll get you guys set up and then we'll get started. That's that one, first step down. Okay, you can see the wiring madness and mayhem we have here. This is awesome. This is my personal favorite, is when they cut the wires right at the connectors. See, look, all three of these were cut. It's so that's gonna have to be taken care of. I gotta figure out where this guy mounts, because I don't think it just floats around like that. Probably gotta be mounted somewhere. Then this guy, got this big connector, got nothing there. And then this, what's that about? First step will be to put this guy into here. Like I said, I don't know anything about these motorcycles, I, uh, but I do know they have points, and I do know that it still needs spark compression and fuel to make it run, so no different. So already we're starting to look better. We've got a cover on. Now we're gonna hose it down with some that should stop it from, we'll hose it down with some engine cleaner. But you can see, look at the mess over here. It's just a mess. I got all the colors well represented over here. Look at this, it's just a mess. I think this guy, now that I think about it, this guy may go up here to the headlight. Hmm. Looks like he could go up this way from here up to the headlight. I don't know, I'd have to look at it. We're not gonna, I'll have to look at it and see what those wires do. Look, oh look, it's always nice when you, when you find these. There's one that's cut. But the great thing, that wiring diagram is gonna come in handy for this. So, let's get to cleaning it up. GoPro, stop recording. Okay guys, I put a, another old battery. I put a battery I had, it's actually a lawnmower battery. But, uh, and I've got the test light hung up to here, so I know I'm getting juice, it's grounded, I'm getting juice. And I know that my juice is coming from here, this big red wire that they had here, and it goes all the way to here I jumped it with, this is the switch, I don't have a key. I've got another switch that I'll end up putting on, but I'm just trying to uh, troubleshoot things. So that works. It works if I plug it right there, so it's jumped to that, which is the black and white wire that's gonna give me juice to here. And then it runs to this starter, this push button. But I'm not getting anything. Oh, I'm getting some magic smoke out of there, if you see that. So I think this little switch right here, is bad which which is what runs my wire down to my solenoid right here so i wanted to see if that worked to see 
if, if that solenoid kicks over my starter, I'm going to pull out the uh, spark plugs on both sides and put some juice in there. But let me pull out these spark plugs real quick. Oh, that wasn't that tight. Pretty much brand new spark plug. No, these look brand new. Somebody was trying to get this thing going. So, I mean, that's a, that looks like it's never been used. So, let's squirt some juice in there. Now let me turn on first. Turn on. Let's make sure my, my jumper wire for this. And we've got a spark plug wire. Got a spark plug grounded right there. We're going to jump this right here. Got good compression. Let's see. Got pretty good. Sounds good. Come on. No spark. But it's turning over. That switch is bad. It turns over when I hook those two. The solenoid's working. Starter's working. And the points probably need to be uh, cleaned. So at least I know that is working. I did shoot some goo on the floor. Let me go to the auto parts store, see if I can find a push button starter button. So I don't have to do this. It gives me one hand, one more hand free. So let me try that. Okay guys, I got back from the auto parts store. I put in the switch. Let me plug this guy in. Let me plug that guy in. Let me turn this guy on. So I do get turn over and let's check see if we have some spark if you look right there yeah you can see it it's faint but there's a little spark it's a little spark I'm gonna clean these points and we're gonna get it going okay let's clean these points now the good thing is I saw earlier that I was getting some some spark just by opening and closing these points so let's see if we can get in here and clean these things up. spark let's make sure you can see it make sure I'm in the right spot but just by opening and closing we got some spark in there let's check this one same spot oh yeah look at that we're good Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put those in. We are gonna squirt some juice down there. We're just gonna see what happens. Okay, here we go. We got a new battery in it. Come on, suck them. Let me put some starting fluid in there. That should be enough. Let's see. Choke. Choke is stuck. Plug this back in. Just make some noise. Come on, sucker. Come on. Come on, it wants to. Let me put some more fuel in it. Keep it going. Come on, sucker. Let me run some fuel right here. This is a two stroke mix just to lubricate that top end a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. oh. come on, come on, come on, come on, you sucker. Come on. 
Let me give it a little bit more fuel. Let's try this again. Plugged in. Come on. Come on. Oh, that wants to run. <laughs> it's going to sound awesome. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Let's squirt some juice in here. Come back over here. Let's see if we can squirt some juice in here. A little bit of... That should be just enough to start a fire. Okay. Let's see. Plug this guy back in. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Come on. Come on. Ah. Oh, let's go again. We didn't do anything to this carburetor. They need to be cleaned. But let's see if we can get it to do something without it. Come on, sucker. Come on, I'm wearing this battery out. Ah. We did get it to make some noise. I'm at the charge that battery. Why don't I just pull the carburetors off? Hope I don't need a gasket or anything like that. I'm gonna pull the carbs off. We'll clean them up, put them back on. See what happens. You guys did hear it make some noise. It made a little noise. It didn't make a lot of noise, but it made a little noise and it's gonna make a lot more here soon, so. But for day one, like I said before, we're probably $400 for the motorcycle and tires. We have a, another maybe hundred bucks with the battery. The good thing, I went and bought the battery. I saved, I had $20 in reward points at AutoZone. So I got another 20 bucks off the battery with, so with the battery, the covers, the lever, I think I'm in the, the switch I bought earlier. I think I'm only another hundred bucks into it. So. With that, that's a, good, that's a good deal. With this build, I don't want to spend a lot of money. I want to try to get in with spending the least amount as possible. We'll make it a really good looking motorcycle. Okay, let's get these guys out of here. Okay, so I have the body out. I'm, what I'm gonna do is put pieces on, take pieces off of this one and get them ready to be cleaned just so I can keep everything straight.
So that's it. We did that one carb. So far, we're going to hit this guy on and let it cook for, I think it goes all the way up to, we'll do 90 minutes. And then we'll dump the water out and put fresh in and, and do it one more cycle. We'll let it clean. But look at it right there. That looks like a carburetor that'll work. So not too bad. So can't wait to put it on. Okay guys, so here we are. We finished cleaning the carburetors. We put the battery back in. We've got the carbs on. We've got fuel in it. Let me hit the choke. I can pull the chokes up. Since I got it clean now. Come on. Oh, oh. Starter. Okay guys, so uh, we were letting all the magic smoke out of the starter. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the starter off. Okay, that's it. Let's see. That is, that's, that's easily 15 pounds. We'll check and see. Let's put the, some juice to it and see if it actually makes some noise. Okay, so it, it is the starter. You can see watching, see the Bendix jump out, but it's not spinning. So, um, uh, but it's not spinning. Okay guys, so it's been a couple of days since uh, we pulled the starter off and it looks like we got a new starter in the mail. So let's pop this guy open. Considerably smaller than the last one at least I think let's go look at it so here is the new one here's the old this one right here easily weighs it's easy 15 plus pounds I mean it's all cast iron up here looks to be the same yeah bolt pattern looks to be there so we'll see okay get the right wrench and then it's just screwing it together. This wire will connect right here. I will put a better wire on it. It never fails. How many of you guys, when you pick up, when you pick up a wrench like this, a ratcheting wrench, that you get it on the right side? Let me know in the comments down below. How many, who out there is the, is the savant that every time you pick it up, you have it the right orientation? Because that's not me. This guy goes to here. Let's hook up the happy side of the battery first. You know, the one that's always fun to be around. It's always in a good mood. Okay, let's put some fuel in here. Again, we rebuilt the carburetors last time, or, or earlier already. So let's just fill these guys up with some fuel. Again, I have some two-stroke oil in this fuel. Just to make sure, let's just put some in each. Okay, guys, here we go. We've got fuel in it. I got to hook up the our makeshift jumper wire here. And now we're gonna push the start button. We don't want to run it too long, so I haven't checked the oil or anything. But it's alive! Yes! That, guys, there you have it. 1975 Moto Guzzi 850T. That I paid total 400 bucks. 300 bucks and $100 in tires. $400 for this guy right here. It took us a carb clean, a uh, an aftermarket switch right here that was already changed and a starter because we blew up the oh and a new battery that's it and we're up and running now we get to make it look good 
now we get to have some fun because we got a running motorcycle. What, what? It runs, it's awesome, it's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be amazing, the fuel is staying where it should be, in the bowls. Guys, if you made it this far to see this motorcycle crank, smash the, the subscribe button, tell all your friends that, hey, it can be done. Some fool in his garage was able to get this thing going, and it's incredible. As always, guys, thanks again for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind. And hit that subscribe, bu subscribe button, guys, please. Thanks a lot, and have a great day.